What's happening everybody? Kyle from VR Scout here and today we are talking about live streaming on the Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2. Now, those familiar with Facebook's standalone VR hardware already know that you can live stream your content directly to your personal Facebook profile. But what if you're looking to broadcast to other popular platforms, say Twitch or YouTube? Today we'll be explaining how to live stream your Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2 gameplay to any platform in high definition. Now it's important to note that there are multiple ways of live streaming your Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2 content. The following method is one we found particularly useful for beginners. Before we get started, let's talk about what you'll need. For this method of live streaming, you're going to need an Oculus Quest or Oculus Quest 2 headset, a standard USB-C cable, an audio recording device, and a computer capable of live streaming your VR gameplay. First, head to your computer and download an app called SideQuest. You will need to set your account to developer mode in order to operate this software. Thankfully, this is a simple and pain-free process. Just head to developer.oculus.com and sign into your Oculus profile to establish a free developer account. From there, it's just a matter of turning on developer mode in your Oculus app. Next, connect your headset to your computer using the USB-C cable and allow permissions to your system in headset. At this point, the red icon located in the upper left corner of the SideQuest app should change colors from red to green. This means your headset has successfully connected to the app. Once you've confirmed the connection, you can then activate wireless mode by selecting the Wi-Fi symbol located in the primary toolbar. You can now disconnect your headset from your computer while still maintaining a connection. Pretty neat. Next, select the TV icon located in the same toolbar to cast your Quest gameplay directly to your PC. If your image appears distorted at first, don't panic. SideQuest comes with a multitude of options designed specifically for the Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2. Just be sure your crop setting is set to the appropriate device before going live. You can also use oculus.com slash casting to stream your footage to a PC using a standard web browser. While this method does capture in-game audio and features little to no latency, it only casts one eye resulting in a square aspect ratio as opposed to 16 by 9, which is what we're looking for ideally. Okay, so you're now casting gameplay directly to your computer in real time. How exactly do you share this awesome content with the rest of the world? For those conducting their first live streams, we recommend Streamlabs OBS. This free broadcast software connects directly to your Twitch and YouTube profiles, making it easy to manage your content across all platforms. You also have access to a variety of useful plugins, from alert boxes and real-time notifications to stream overlays and even some chat boxes. From here, it's just a matter of selecting the live stream feed on your desktop and adding it to your Streamlabs scene. But why stop there? Here you can bring your stream to life with intro and outro cards, background music, video clips, a live webcam, and various other accoutrements. Now, at this point, you may have noticed that there's no audio coming out of your live video feed. That's because SideQuest is unable to cast in-game audio. To bypass this issue, I've been using a wireless lav mic placed strategically below my mouth and my headset. Personally, I've been using Rode's wireless lav mics. They're fairly inexpensive, great quality, but honestly, any device that can connect to the mic port on your PC should do the job. By turning the headset volume up to full and utilizing the built-in stereos, I've actually been able to capture both my voice and the in-game audio at the same time. It's not a perfect solution, that's for sure, but by tweaking some of the noise gating options available in Streamlabs, I've actually been able to capture some fairly balanced audio. And that's it! You're now live streaming Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2 gameplay directly to Twitch and YouTube. As I said earlier in the video, there are multiple ways of live streaming your Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2 gameplay. This is just one method we found particularly useful for those live streaming for the first time. That's it for today, but to keep up on everything VR and AR, be sure you're checking out some of the other videos available on our channel. This is a good one right here. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, but this is a nice one too. Oh wow. So many good videos.